I'm Rebecca of Pocketful of Posies. Today's project is the culmination of my natural form era project, my so out of my comfort zone project. I'm so excited to have this finished. Ah, I'm so happy with the way it turned out and I can't wait to share it with you. So without further ado, let's get to it. Here we go. All right, tea in hand, I am getting started on my overskirt for my so out of my comfort zone natural form era project. This is the final item of this project and I'm so excited to get going with it. I've cut my pieces out and I, <clears throat> I'm using this Truly Victorian pattern. It's TV328. 1880 split penier overskirt. So let's get going. I got started by cutting out the darts on the pattern so I could trace them onto my fabric with a friction pen. The hardest part of this project was wrangling the two giant pattern pieces. I traced my darts onto the fabric. My measurements are larger than the pattern, so I made the darts smaller to accommodate this. I chose to cut down the center of each dart, but not all the way to the point. Then I pinned my darts. These darts will be sewn with a quarter inch seam allowance and taper to the point because I adjusted the dart size. I sewed all of the darts, sewing off the edge of the fabric at the points and tying the ends. I got my darts all sewn and I just zigzagged those raw edges and now I am going to sew all of the gathering stitches. So there's marks at center front to sew gathering stitches and then in the back Um, as well. So I'm going to devi deviate from the pattern just a little bit because the pattern says to sew the center back seam and then sew the gathering stitches, but I'm going to go ahead and sew the gathering stitches on the two pieces and then sew the center back, back seam only because it's less fabric to maneuver around. So off we go. Scratch that last. The instructions say to hem it first and then sew, then sew the gathering stitches. So I am going to sew the center back seam and then hem it and then sew the gathering stitches. <laughs> I sewed the center back seam and then I also zigzagged those raw edges as well. Lucia supervised. I remarked my starting and stopping points for the gathering stitches and got to work folding the hem by half an inch and then again by another half inch. Mm -hmm. 
My next step was ironing my hem. All right, I'm taking a little coffee break after ironing my hem. Then I'm going to hem it on the machine. I know, hand done hems are <laughs> nicer and they don't show as much, but this hem is going to be completely hidden by trim. So I'm taking the fast route. I took it to the machine and sewed that hem. All right, hem is sewn, and so now I'm going to run the gathering stitches. So there are gathering stitches, oh, hey Thor. <laughs> there are gathering stitches on both sides of the center front, and then there are gathering stitches in the back as well. And then there's a, a drawstring kind of casing in the back too. So. All of those little things I'm going to get started with. The gathering stitches on the center fronts were quick and easy. The gathering stitches on the back of the skirt sides were a little trickier just because it's a lot of fabric to maneuver around the machine. Next, I prepared the drawstring casings for the inside back of the skirt. I used bias tape and I watched Poirot. I sewed the drawstring casings on with a whip stitch. I used a bodkin I bought from Burnley and Trowbridge to thread some twine through the casings. I sewed it down at each outer edge. Now the fun part, trimming the skirt. I pinned two different laces along the entire hem and center front openings. have my, I have all my trim pinned on and I'm going to sew it down by hand now. <laughs> I proceeded to sew the trim on with a long back stitch. I used the same lace that I had used for my underskirt as well as my bodice. Time to attach the waistband. I cut it to my corseted waist measurement plus an inch on each side for overlap and seam allowance. I then pleated the excess fabric in the back of the skirt and pinned it to the waistband. After sewing the waistband to the skirt right sides together, I trimmed the seam allowance and folded the waistband over twice to the inside.
I again took the quick and easy route and stitched in the ditch on the outside of the waistband, securing it on the inside. I gathered the fronts as well as the backs and finally pulled the drawstring to arrange the skirt how I liked it. More trim! I added some artificial roses to the gathered parts of the skirt as well as some bows in the back. Then it was done. I am so very happy with the final result of this project. It's so pretty and springtimey. Thank you for joining me as I sewed out of my comfort zone. I may have found a new costumey era to love, and I realized I didn't need to be afraid of the natural form era. It's lovely. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you spending your time with me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and you can hit that bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload. If you'd like to support the channel further, I have a coffee account and that is linked down below. Again, thank you so much and I will see you on our next sewing adventure. Bye!